Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD, and yes, we have an awesome hands-on slash review for you guys, and it's all about the gaming laptop, the best gaming laptop. Uh, and I have today is the Lenovo IdeaPad Y900. Is it classified as one of the best gaming laptops in the market? So uh, let's get down to it. All right, so what makes the Y900 one of the best gaming laptops in the market? Well, we actually got to get down to the specifications so you could get a, a good idea of why it's one of the best ones. All right, so the Y900 is actually running an Intel 6th generation quad-core i7 processor with the speed of 2.7 gigahertz. Graphics processor is actually a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980M with 8 gigs of VRAM. Now, this particular model actually has 16 gigs of WD r4 memory but you're able to upgrade it to the max to 64 gigs it has a beautiful 17.3 inch full hd ips anti-glare display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. now for storage you have two hard drives your primary hard drive is a 256 gig solid state drive from samsung and your second hard drive is actually a one terabyte sata with 5400 rpms the y900 is also equipped with the killer double shot pro wireless adapter it comes with a built-in camera which is 720p with dual array microphones the dimensions of the laptop is actually 16 0.73 inches by 12.4 inches and the thickness is actually 1.42 inches now this guy is pretty heavy and it actually weighs about 10.1 pounds okay so let's take a closer look on the y900 so if you have the laptop facing you to the point that you're able to open up the lid uh, on the right hand side let's take a look at all the ports this port right here is actually the one key recovery from lenovo we have our power indicator we have a sd card reader we have a microphone jack a headphone jack we have two 2.0 USB ports and we have our lock port. Let's check out the other side. So on the other side, we have two 3.0 USB ports. We have a type C, which is actually 3.1 USB. We have our gigabit ethernet ports an HDMI, a display, and we have our power port. So how about the keyboard on the Y900? Now the keyboard is right on the money. Uh, what do I mean? It feels just like an actual desktop mechanical USB keyboard, such as Razer's keyboard or Cooler Master's keyboards. That's how it feels. With the Y900, it actually has these switch keys, uh, which is mechanical, which is awesome. You actually get the clicking sound, which is pretty cool. Uh, very responsive. The key layout is very smooth. You have a full layout keyboard with the number pads and extra buttons as well. Uh, you have this cool button called Turbo, which actually overclocks your CPU and GPU at the same time to just boost that performance, which is a plus for the Y900. This is, this is what makes a great gaming laptop. You also have four additional customizable buttons, a Y1 through Y4. I like customizing my buttons and the fact that I'm able to just click a button and it will automatically start my program rather than me searching for it i could just click the button and it will launch it right away like as you guys see i just press y1 and it launches my league of legends and i'm just ready to launch it and start playing the keys on the keyboard feels very comfortable you got to get used to the clicking sound if you've never used a mechanical keyboard if you have used a mechanical keyboard in the past the y900 would be a breeze for you now the distance between the keyboard and the touchpad is a little far it's not like your ordinary keyboard that you would use on laptops nowadays. Uh, it's to the point that I have to actually remove my hand to use it because I can't stretch it. If you have long hands, you could probably get away with it. Now, the keyboard on the Y900 is backlit and you're able to control it. It's not one of those default backlits that you get that white color. You're actually able to customize it and Lenovo gives you that power to do that. Uh, they actually gave you this Lenovo Central Hub application which allows you to control the way that you uh, light up your keyboard, which is pretty cool. Uh, so as you guys can see, you got Lenovo's Nerve Center and you got uh, the light shift. So we're going to click on that. And by default, it's turned off. But if you turn on default one, it's all red. All right, that's the color that we have. Uh, default two, you got nice little blue color. But your primary keys, which is WASD, is red, which is pretty cool. And then your default is basically like a nice little rainbow kind of wave with different colors. 
and you're able to modify these colors with no problem. You just click on the little uh, pencil and just modify your zones the way that you want it during your gameplay, which is an awesome thing. Now, not only does the keyboard layout lights up, backlit, but you also have your speaker system as well as the trackpad. So whatever color design that you have here, you will only get a solid color here. If you want to control your keyboard even further, Lenovo actually provides you this other cool application called Magic Y Key, which allows you to customize each key. Uh, like I showed you before, if I press the Y, it's going to automatically launch up my League of Legends application so I could just go right into it and start playing. But you again, you have four uh, customizable keys that you can be able to modify with no problem. And you could create three profiles within your keyboard layout. All right, guys, so I took the F key out. And the reason why I took the F key out because I want to actually show you the, the mechanism underneath the keys. It is classified as a mechanical keyboard, but these keys are different. And the reason why I say it's different is because you don't really need to put too much weight to actually get a reaction on these keys. Plus, the keyboard does have anti-ghosting technology, which is also a plus. I have a paper clip right here, and I'm just gonna press it like normal. And as you guys can see, it's fully down. I'm pressing F. But if I lightly touch it to the point that it's not clicking, you see that automatically, I'm not putting put too much force to it. And I'm still getting, I'm still getting that command. I'm still getting that F, but you guys don't hear the click. But like, if you just do real light, real light, look at that. Real light, it's real sensitive. The keys are extremely sensitive. I mean, that's the kind of keyboard that you want when you're playing the game. Uh, you, you Quick reaction, you click on the button and it automatically does what you want. That's the kind of reaction that you need within a gaming laptop. So the keyboard is there. It has a full keyboard layout, which is awesome, but how about the touchpad? Most likely we're not going to be using the touchpad during gameplay, but you know what? Sometimes we do need a touchpad or we need a good one. Now the Y900 touchpad is actually measuring uh, four inches by 2.9, uh, which is about five nickels and about three, three and a half nickels up on top. So the size is there for this touchpad. How responsive is it? Well, I think it's very responsive for what I've been using it for. It had no problem with the response time. It's a nice size. You got your left and your right click, which is on money. It responds with no problem. It's very smooth. Uh, I had no problems with it. Uh, overall, the entire location of where the touchpad is actually made out of carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. Nice little uh, feel for it. It feels a little rubber for me, but it is carbon fiber uh, material. And just like the keyboard on the Y900, you're able to modify the coloring of the touchpad, which is, that's awesome. So again, you actually have to do it within the Lenovo North Center. You select the area that you want and let's pick a color. So I'm going to make it purple and it's purple. If you want to make it, uh, let's say orange and it's orange. So you can actually customize the touchpad, the speaker, and the keyboard the way that you want it so it could, it could fit your gaming needs. All right, so we went over some of the customizable things that you could do on the keyboard. You're able to change the backlit, which is awesome. You're also able to change the lighting with the speaker as well as the lighting on the touchpad. But how about this turbo button, which is really interesting. I love this button. So you guys can see on the screen, I have Lenovo's nerve center and I have the turbo boost. Right now, the CPU and the GPU are kind of stable. The fan speed is about 1700 RPMs and the second fan is actually 16 RPMs. Now check this out. Once I click this guy to turn on, look what happens. Now before I even press the button, check this out. The Intel processor is only 2.7 gigahertz and if you click on the turbo, it's gonna boost it up to maybe 3.60 or maybe four if you, you get lucky. So let's uh, click on the turbo button. Now, before you even hit the turbo button, you gotta keep in mind, your laptop has to be plugged in for this to work. If not, when you press on the turbo button, you're gonna get the nice little plug sign to plug it in. So let's plug it in. Awesome, we got some power now. And let's click on that turbo button and see what happens. Whoa, how awesome is that? So the CPU right now is running about 4.10 gigahertz and the max watt on the our GPU is about 95.00, which is awesome. Fan one and fan two RPM hasn't really increased that much, but I guarantee you if you're constantly playing uh, a video game, 
nonstop, that fan speed is going to change a little bit. But it's that's awesome. That's really awesome. And it's really easy to turn it off. All you got to do is just press the turbo button and everything will just go stable. And then you're good to go and continue using the laptop. So how about the screen on the Y900? Again, it has a beautiful 17.3 Full HD IPS anti-glare uh, display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And it's beautiful. It's awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm, it's the right size when you're playing video games. Now, how bright? It doesn't really get too bright. This is actually the brightest that it could get. I'm going to show you guys that this is the lowest that it could get on, on the brightness level. That's the lowest that we can get. I'm able to still see... Uh, you know, the icons on the desktop with no problem. I'm able to see the logo on Lenovo. The taskbar, I'm able to see it with no problem. I just hit the start button, I'm able to see that. Okay, you probably can see that as well. And that's the lowest that we can get on the brightness. Now, the highest that we can get the brightness is this 100%. So the brightness doesn't get to the point that it shines right in your eyes and it hurts you. So when I was playing games on this, I was able to play long hours without like hurting my eyes because the display is just right on and you're able to adjust the brightness to the point that it won't hurt your eyes when you're doing those long gameplays. All right, so how about the build on the Lenovo Y900 gaming laptop? Now the build overall, it is great. It is extremely strong. Why? Because the entire chastity is a combination of plastic, carbon fiber, and metal. Now on the top part right here, the lid, it is made out of metal which you also have that nice little Y signature, which also lights up, which is cool. And the bottom of the laptop is also made out of metal. So the entire chastity of the laptop is made out of metal. So you can see in the bottom, you see all these little rectangle shapes right here. You would think this is your ventilation system to keep it nice and cool, but it's not. Uh, Lenovo actually built a subwoofer system underneath the Y900 to give you that nice clear base when you're playing your video games. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not the only speaker that you have on the Y900. So let's turn this guy around. If you open up the laptop, you also have your speaker systems right here. Now Lenovo actually hooked up the Y900 gaming laptop with JBL speakers all the way around. Plus with the bass underneath will give you that great quality sound that you're looking for when you're playing those video games. Right here on the base where the touchpad is at, again, like I said, it's a, it's a good mixture of between plastic, metal, and carbon fiber. And this entire layout right here with a touchpad is made out of carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. For me, it feels kind of rubbery, uh, but it feels really nice when you're resting your palms on it and you're typing, uh, which makes it extremely comfortable when you're playing those long games. Now, the display is made out of IPS and it's kind of like a matted material. It's not glossy at all. So it's a little plastic. It, it's probably you're capable of cracking it extremely easy. But why would you even destroy this awesome 17.3 full HD display? Come on. So overall impressions on the Y900 from Lenovo. So the build, the build is right on the money. And the reason why is because it has a little bit of combination of plastic, not too much, carbon fiber, and the entire chastity of the laptop is made out of metal, which makes it extremely durable, but a little bit heavy when it comes down to moving it around. Uh, I don't really find myself like traveling a lot with this laptop. The only time I find myself traveling with this laptop is if I'm hanging out with my friends and we have a LAN party that we need to attend or a competition. Most likely you could put it inside a book bag and travel with it with no problem. But the average weight for this laptop is around 10.1 pounds. I don't really think you want to travel with this a lot. This is a huge upgrade uh, of one of your old desktops. So if you have an old desktop and you want to get into the gaming world and you have that money to spend on, this is the guy that you need. Now the retail price for this Y900 is around $23 to $2,500, which is very expensive. This laptop is equipped for us gamers. And I'm super impressed with the way that Lenovo built this guy. The design is there. I love the fact that I'm able to customize the keyboard layout to the colors that I want. I'm able to customize different zones, which is cool. And it's also a huge plus that I'm able to customize the light on the touchpad as well as the speaker uh, on, the, on the laptop, which is cool. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how about the battery? Okay, again, uh, this guy is classified as a workstation. Meaning you place it somewhere, you plug it in, and you just leave it alone. Not too much traveling with it. Uh, uh, battery life, if you are going to remove it and not have it 
you know, jacked in to get power, it's gonna last you between 5.4 to 6 hours, depending on what you're doing. Again, if you wanna take advantage of the Tobo, uh, you have to have it plugged in. So you're only going to be taking advantage of the 2.7 gigahertz. And again, it's running a NVIDIA GTX 980M with eight gigs of VRAM. Plus it also has G-Sync technology, which doesn't give you that stuttering uh, because it syncs up with the refresh rate of the screen, which is also a plus. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this hands-on slash review on the Lenovo's Y900 gaming laptop. Uh, what are your thoughts? For me, I think this guy is classified as a great gaming laptop. One of the best in the market so far. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments right below. And pretty soon, I will be doing gameplay. I have a couple of titles that you guys have provided in my unboxing. When I took this guy out the box and I show you what it had, and you guys left a lot of comments of what you wanted me to do during my gameplay. So I am going to be live streaming that hopefully next week. And uh, I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.